In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving permutation and combination in scientific calculator, especially with Casio FPSG 50 graphical calculator. And after going through this video, I guarantee you that you will be able to solve problems involving permutation and combination in scientific calculator, especially with Casio FPSG 50 graphical calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. So ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video because you are going to learn a lot, guys. So having known that, let's get a Casio calculator now i'm going to the details of the video okay so this is casio fpsg 50 graphical calculator now the very first thing you have to do is to reset the calculator the essence of resetting it is to wipe out whatever previous value might have stored on uh, the calculator so to quickly reset all you have to do is navigate the system using this navigation button when you get a press is a quiz all right the quiz for this calculator stands for equal to when you get a press f5 for reset then press F6 for the next page. When you get a press F2 to initialize all, then press F1 and it will begin to initialize all as indicated here. We're going to find the permutation and combination of these problems we have here using this calculator. It's done. Press exit. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do will be to find permutation and combination function on this calculator. To do that, under this one matrix, press the goods. Alright, then press option. When you press option, and then press F6 to find probability. So this is probability. Press F3 for it. Alright, so we have factorial, we have permutation, we have combination. So we're going to work with these three functions on this calculator. Now let's begin with question one. It says, in how many ways can the word pencil be arranged? Okay, so the word pencil is made up of five letters. And the letters that make up the word pencil are distinct letters there is no duplication of any letter now how do you differentiate problems that are permutation from problems that are combination how you can differentiate this is that permutation deals with distinct arrangement of things or items whereas combination deals with selection or choice of items or things okay so take note of this difference permutation distinct arrangements Whereas combination is choice or selection. Okay, having known this difference, let's go ahead and solve question one. Now, for question one, there are two ways you can solve it. The first way is to make use of permutation. All right, now when a word is not involving duplication of any letter, there are two ways you can do it. The first way, like this question one, is five permutation 5 okay and 120 ways or if you delete this is it okay go back to option probability okay now you make use of factorial to solve it now the word pencil has five letters that's five factorial okay over the distinct letters we have there so we have up to five letters that's one factorial times one factorial okay times one factorial times one factorial up to five times okay times one factorial and that's all Press is equals, you still get 120. Now, there's no need writing one factor up to five times because one factorial is the same thing as one. But this is more acceptable. Okay? Now, let me show you. If you adjust it here, okay, and delete all this one factorial and make use of only one factorial, you get 120 as well. All right? So, this is it. Now, let's go to question 2. Alright, so let's delete everything here. That's exit. Delete. Or go back to option. Okay. Probability. Now, for question 2, it says, in how many ways can the word mathematics be arranged? Now, the word mathematics has distinct letters and duplication of letters. Okay. Now, if you look at this word, mathematics we have m the, the letter m is being duplicated and we also have 
the letter A being duplicated. We also have the letter T being duplicated two times. Okay, so that means you're going to have it to be make use of this fraction button. Okay, so the word mathematics has a total number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 letters. Okay, 11 factorial. Okay, over now. 2 factorial for M being duplicated twice. Okay, times. 2 factorial again for A being duplicated twice. Okay, times. 2 factorial again for T being duplicated twice and we have times 1 factorial for E alright it's not being duplicated and we have 1 factorial again times which is for I it's not being duplicated and last we have times 1 factorial again which is for C is not being duplicated. So that's all. Let's press as a good and get a result or answer. Alright, so we have it to be four million nine hundred and eighty nine thousand and six hundred ways. Okay, that's how many ways this word mathematics can be arranged. Our answer is what option B. Okay, so that's our answer, option B. Our answer for question one is option A. Okay. Now let's go to question three. So let's do the bit in here. It's as simple as that, guys. Delete or uh... okay. So question three. Let's go back to probability. Okay. So question three says, in how many ways can the word statistics be arranged? All right. So the word statistics is made up of ten letters. Okay. So that means make use of this fraction is going to be 10 factorial over now the word statistics has the duplication of letters we have it for x and t and i okay so let's begin with x x is duplicated three times so it's going to be three factorial okay times t is duplicated three times as well going to be three factorial okay times which other letter okay we have the letter i is duplicated two times so it's going to be times two factorial okay then times the letter a the no duplication that's one factorial okay times the letter c the no duplication times one factorial all right so that's it for the word statistics okay we are good to go now let's press execute and see what we're going to have as a result okay fifty thousand and four hundred ways that means this word statistics can be arranged up to fifty thousand and four hundred ways which is what option c that's the answer so as simple as that guys now let's go to question four and see how we're going to solve it let's delete everything here okay let's go up is as simple as that guys all right so lastly we have this question four it says a student has to choose four tests from a collection of ten how many choices can be made? Now, this is my word. It's not talking about arrangement. It's not talking about choices. All right. That means combination. Because combination is with choices or selection. All right. Now, to simply solve this question, since it's combination, all you have to do is you go to option, then go to probability. Under here, to find how many choices that can be made, it will be. 10 combination 4 and that's a pair of 
right? 210 choices can be made. It's as simple as that, guys. That's it for solving problems involving permutation and combination in a scientific calculator. Now, this is do-it-yourself test for you. In how many ways can the word book be arranged? Leave your answer in the comment section below and I'll join you in the discussion. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. So like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. Now, once you're done, ensure to play your calculator to remove the values that work with on it. So, to do that, just press menu, then go to system. When you get here, press the quit. Then F5, we say it's F6, F2, F1. So, that's it. It will begin to initialize. Is it is done? Yeah, see you in my subsequent video.